Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome. Welcome, good. Gary. Good to be here. Thank you. Yes, we're glad to have you. We have a Facebook question today. Right. Pretty involved one, so I'm going to go ahead and read it as we pull it up on the screen. Gary, I was run off the road by a truck and hit a tree. The truck never stopped. But can I still get help from my insurance company if mine was the only car involved in the wreck? All right. Well, I guess there's lots of questions there. <laughs> yeah. And th so the first is property damage. Mm -hmm. What do I do? If you have collision and, and, and comprehensive coverage, right. you just use your coverage for that. Okay. Now, the second one, somebody might be able to say, uh, I can't find the guy. What can I do about that? Well, you may, we may be able to find him, but with technology as it is today, you can sometimes find cameras that actually record somebody r driving really recklessly or somebody might meet the description you gave to the police at the scene. Right. You know, it was a black F-150 that ran me off the road and now we find that black 150 in that, in that you know, in that yeah. vicinity. Yeah. So we found people before that way when we thought all was lost, but there's so many cameras <laughs> out there now, mm -hmm. you never know. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the biggest question would be, um, maybe you use your own insurance for uninsured motorist coverage, because you can use that when you don't know who the other party is. You, okay. you bring an action against John Doe, an unknown person or entity. And so you can still proceed if you have uninsured motorist coverage. And, and so people need to have uninsured motorist coverage. Yeah. Full coverage, does that include uninsured motorists? Full or coverage. Or we think we have full coverage, yeah? Right. I, I hear that a lot. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Full coverage, I think, means collision and comprehensive. It means that your car, if your deer runs out and you crash, your car is going to be fixed. Or if you back into a telephone pole, your car is going to be fixed with that. But uh, UM is different. Uninsured motorist coverage is different. And using it should not increase your rates because it's not about your bad driving, it's about somebody else's bad driving. It's like buying life insurance. Yeah. You know, this event happened, now I'm covered for it. Mm -hmm. So in Georgia though, you're gonna have to prove a couple of things to use it. One is either you have a witness who says, yeah, I saw that truck runner off the road or even a passenger can do that or some contact between the vehicles. Okay. So Alabama's right. a little more liberal with it, but uh, each case kind of falls on its own facts, of course. But that coverage is critical because, let me tell you, the people that cause wrecks are generally, are generally <laughs> sometimes people that are not insured. Guess, just because they don't have insurance or a driver's license does not mean they're not driving out there. Yeah. So be careful, protect your family, get uninsured motorist coverage. Oh, very good, very good. Great, thank you. thank you so much, Gary. Great questions, keep them coming. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. We'll see you on the very next legal break.